Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I'm at the gallery today for the Zodiac series. This reading is for Cancers. So the correlating major arcana card for the Cancers is the Chariot. This out of the Ethereal Visions deck is the artist representing you as the open vessel ready to receive whatever source can draw from the well of infinite creativity. So this is a spread about obstacles and overcoming them. So I drew two meditation cards to help you embody what will help in receiving this message and seeing it through to its best outcome. So the first card I drew was from the Spirit Messages, and it is Relationship. So you can see there's a lot of information here just in the picture about letting go, about knowing who you are, about the reflections of who you are in relationships. As it says, relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Nice to be reminded of that every once in a while, you know? When you're being hard on yourself, it is possibly coming from that reflection of what your, your relationship is bouncing off of on someone else. Very interesting. And for the color goddess, you got forest. Now this is an incredibly dark colored card. And it kind of talks about that, you know, being in the depths of it. It says here, what do, what do you feel when you see this color? Have you ever spent time in deep within a forest or woods? If so, how did you feel? I bet you felt a sense of magic, a slight sense of displacement until you fell into the vibe and then becomes a surreal sense of always belonging, right? It's finding you're comfortable, right? Oh, goodness. So the crystal affiliated with this card is Molevite, and the flower is, I'm probably going to butcher this, but green Danthus. It is from the Greek god flower or flower of the gods. Beautiful. Hmm. And it also says, don't be shy about asking for the fairy's help. The fairy folk will definitely be there for you if you need them. Hmm. Okay, so this is, as I said, about obstacles. So this is what is my current biggest roadblock when it comes to creating. What am I not seeing about this obstacle? What is this obstacle trying to teach me and what do I need to let go of to overcome this obstacle? So, okay. So we have the hermit, the king of spades in reverse, and the mice. So the hermit obviously is all about contemplation, getting to that depth of contemplating and withdrawal to really be able to hear source. And we've got the king of spades. It's in reverse. So this is a stuck position. And we got the mice in reverse as well for the Lenormand. So the hermit card is all about being able to trust and feel your way through with with sources guidance the king of spades is all about elimination through destruction or 
deconstructing a belief, um, an obsession, or an attachment, um, some kind of ordeal that you need to get through in order to have your vibration go to a higher level. And with the mice in reverse, the mice basically talk about having something stolen from you. But when it's in reverse, it's telling me that you're kind of doing it to yourself. It is being in your own way, not being able to see the forest for the trees, that you're too deep into these relationships where you haven't had time to step outside of that, which is what the hermit would like to see, and just be able to hold that mirror up to yourself, right? A mirrored self, rather than bouncing off everybody else so that you can get to that grounded spot of where you need to be in order to move forward with your craft and your creativity and to hear source come through for you. Wow, you need a break, honey. (laughs) You need a break. Okay, so yeah, I hope you get one because that definitely feels like where you need to go. So let's look at this next pile. This is what are you not seeing about this obstacle? So we got the Empress. She's in reverse. King of Clubs in reverse and the Clover in reverse. So the Empress is all about luck and fertility and honors and getting there from here with all of this really lovely fluid easiness. But when it's in reverse, well, it's just the opposite. There's anxiety, there's fear, there's being stuck, not feeling the higher vibration of when you let source guide you. Kind of the same for the king of clubs. And then you get the clover, which if it were in the upright position, it would be luck coming your way. But it's in reverse. So this is telling me, again, that you're having trouble getting there from here, getting to that place where you're more secure, you're more grounded, you're more feeling who you are in your best stability. So yeah, the king of clubs, again, two kings, two dark kings reflecting Pluto energy. And this is all about that knowledge and pursuit and being um, transformed through some deconstruction again, some something being destroyed, some limitation, some belief that needs to be let go of, right? So that you can really set yourself up for that beautiful, ultimate intellectual challenge and find more of who you are, your service to your soul self. It's rising to a noble character through diversity. So whatever struggles you're having in your relationships, if you can find that time to just take that time out, I think it will do a world of good. So let's move on to this one. This is, what is this obstacle trying to teach me? So we got the Six of Pentacles. This is charity. This is receiving through giving. So that's an interesting little tidbit, isn't it? Giving to receive. So 
Yeah, perhaps you're of the empathetic self where you give and give and give without expecting to receive. So sometimes it is the biggest gift of all to take care of yourself, right? And be who you can be to the fullest in order to be able to give fully and give to yourself, right? Wow, that's what this card is telling me. Okay. Hmm. And then you got the Eight of Diamonds. Interesting card again. And you got the Moon. So this tells me that it is moving into that Rahu matrix where you search and explore and experiment with finding the real you. So this is earth energy. It's hanged man energy, which is very much like the hermit, where you go and contemplate, right? So it's a very, very psychic and intuitive card. It is finding your own value from within. It's taking that time to get there from here. It is exploring that jungle matrix of your inner self. And it's doing it with all of this being in the way. These, whether it's yourself or some other person, place, or thing in your relationships that would like to keep you in that either the victim mode or the perpetrator mode or the protector mode. Whew. So if you can get to that quiet place of contemplation that you've got four cards here now telling you that that's where you need to go to settle into this, into this grounded, lovely, self-validating place. It's taking a risk, yes, but it is to grow, to grow an inner validation, right? Oh, beautiful. So, yep, time for introspection, time to contemplate the value of within your self-validation or just that innate knowing of the value of other people, places, and things. It's finding that balance. Okay, it is an opportunity to connect your ego and soul on a much deeper divine level for a deeper understanding of yourself, right? With direct communication with the divine source. And the moon says it all as well. This is all about being open to that vibration and that energy. It is you receiving all of that honor from source, right? Oh, wow. The reflections. Yeah, the reflections of the relationships with everyone else and yourself. Wow. Okay, so let's look at this last one. What do I need to let go of to overcome this obstacle? When are we going to find a little peace and quiet to get back into your body, right? Okay, so the Knight of Swords, a lovely card to get here. It is about strength and skill and bravery. It is stepping into exactly that, that embodiment of the Eight of Diamonds and the Hermit, the... Uh, the, uh, yeah, the hanged man and feeling it, taking charge of it. This is fire energy. I'm sorry, air energy in the tarot, air energy, and it's fast paced and it is coming. Wow. Very, very nice. Okay. 
but this is what you need to let go of it says here so what do I need to let go of to overcome this obstacle so again this is saying to quiet to contemplate to get into that quiet place to shed whatever is clinging and needing to let go of this is finding that emotional balance through trial and error so yeah let that go in your relationships and just concentrate on you this five of hearts is all about making that connection through trial and error it's time to meet that emotional challenge and to change your perspective around that and that thinking because it's an opportunity to move on to that hermit's right path with source's help. This is an emotional connection. So yeah, to let that go, to concentrate on you now, not on all of these people that are knocking at your door right and just say time out and you get the flowers so yep to do that in the best way possible with that embodiment of a right path to do it on this is a very happy and right path card to get here yep Lots of encouragement in that card. So, wow. Wow, Cancers. Yeah, this is really interesting. Whoo, yeah. I hope you find that um, piece of paradise to skip away for a weekend or whatever it is that uh, you need. You may be almost there, but you just need a, a cup of tea and you'll have it. All right, so one more card for you. This is the Star Seed deck. Whoop, and we're going to let a card pop out for you. And we'll see what last message Source has to share. Ooh, Inner Worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So that's what this side looks like. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Go find your moment. You need it. You've earned it. Holy mackerel. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. And as always, happy creating.